go ahead and start with some openers here. We'll begin with hymn number 772 as we stand. We'll sing When We All Get to Heaven. 772. First, sturdy. Church on Mother's Day today. Isn't that a blessing? 
And so we really praise God for each and every one of you mothers today. And we'll be recognizing that. Let me make this announcement right quick. Brother Ray, are you doing that now? Get the names of all the mothers. Let me get, let me, let me go ahead and make the announcement. Mothers, mothers with children, my wife said. We need your name in a basket right now. So raise your hand. Brother Ray's already taking care of most of them. If you're not in, on a piece of paper and you're not in the basket, you need to raise your hand right now because we're giving $5,000 away here in, in Monopoly money here just a little bit. Amen. Raise your hand and Brother Ray is going to take care of it. Brother Ray's two or three up front here. There's some over yonder way. And uh, we want you to get, we got some gifts. We want you to be in on this drawing and things that we're going to do. Uh, some up here, Brother Ray, right in Miss K up front here. Some right up here. Raise your hand there, sister. She's got, if you write your name down, they try to let you know coming in the door. And we're just trying to take care of business right up front. Here's one lady right here, right back behind Miss Jackie here, Miss K right here. Who else? Raise your hand. Just get your name on a piece of paper. That's all we're asking. Miss Julie Brunner over here. Miss Julie needs one over there. Brother Ray behind you over there. Coming that way. Amen. We got it all covered. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Who else? Back up here. Somebody. You got some others up here. Uh, Brother Willie, you're not a mother. Put your hand down. <laughs> all right. We'll take care of that. Let's go to the Lord in prayer so you can be seated. And we'll just take care of this. And Brother Ray can be taking care of that. You can hold your hand up while when we get through praying. And then we're just going we'll to continue to do that while the choir's singing. You hold your hand up when you sign it. Brother Ray will come and get it. Let's have a word of prayer. Ask the Lord to be with us this wonderful day. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day. We can serve and worship your wonderful name. Thank you, Lord, for God's people here today. Many, Lord, are out of town and many are hurting, Lord. And I pray that you'll bless each and every family. Some that couldn't be here that we know about, I pray, God, that you'll bless that family. Lead and direct. And, uh, Lord, help us today. We just want to thank the Lord for our mothers and praise them today. Honor to whom honors do. I want to thank you, Lord, for my mother being in church here today. Thank you for a godly mother that loves Jesus. And, Lord, I pray that we'll encourage one another in the Lord today and help one another and just worship your wonderful name and we'll give thee praise and glory and honor. Help us today now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. You can be seated. And if you've got those things filled out, Brother Ray, just raise your hand. Brother Ray will come and get them. Y'all take care of that while we're singing. Listen to the choir as they sing. All right.
662. 662. Beautiful song. What a day that's going to be. When we see our Savior face to face. Amen. Six, 762.
charity dog watch. Our young people will be helping, washing the dogs, cleaning the dogs, all kinds of good stuff. So all this is trying to help raise money for our youth group. So if you'll be part of that, there's flyers you can take with you. Uh, post it at your workplace. I'm going to be passing flyers out here on local uh, uh, businesses throughout uh, 460. And so on that same day as the flea market, June 6th from 8 to 2, we'll be having that charity dog wash. So help us raise funds with that. All the details are on the flyer. And also, we are selling discount cards right now. Most of you have seen these before. We've done this about five years ago. And they have our New Hope uh, logo there on the front there. And information about our church is a great witnessing tool. But on top of that, you can sell them. And there's lots of good restaurants on here, IHOP. McDonald's, Jersey Lily, Smoky Bones, all kinds of great things. $20, well worth $20 or more. And it's good through next July of 2017. And so we're selling these. You can see one of the teenagers to get one. Uh, we'll have some the Welcome Center for $20, and we get half the profit. So help us. If you want to take some and sell them for us, by all means do that. If you know somebody wants some, it's on our Facebook page and our website as well, so you can get all the information uh, for these cars. So help us. We're in fundraising. We've got just a couple months to go to camp. There in Mount Moriah in Tennessee, and looking forward to that. We've got a great group going this year, and so help us with that. We want a quick announcement. We have graduation Sunday coming up in just a few weeks, and Ms. Christian and I have been working on that. If you are graduating this year or already graduated, whether it's college or high school, um, we want to get you uh, uh, involved in that. If you could get us a picture, uh, your information, you know, where you plan to go, or what you graduate with, some special things you want folks to know about. If you could turn that into myself or Miss Christy, we need a picture, a current picture of you, maybe your, your cap and gown, and plan to be here that Sunday, the last Sunday of this month. I think I believe it's May 30th, is that correct? Um, and we'll have you dress out, and we'll have you, uh, welcome you here and introduce you, and so we want you to be part of that. So if you graduate or plan on graduating, um, we want you to be part of that, okay? Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see everybody here. Got my family. Mike and Kaylee is in from Knoxville, Tennessee. Isn't that a blessing? Amen. We're glad to have them. And then my other daughter from down in Greensboro, High Point area. And little Bryson, little man Bryson, little two-year-old there. Buddy, we have having time with him this weekend. Little uh, uh, Gracie and... Uh, and uh, Carter, man, the singer, uh, he stayed home with Daddy. They, he plays piano for the church, and little Carter, man, had a ball game yesterday, so they couldn't get up here this weekend. But it's always good to be with family. Isn't it wonderful? And if you're visiting today with your family, we're glad you're here today, and I pray the Lord to bless you and uh, as you have a great day in the Lord. Let me go and say this. Uh, we've, we've got some major prayer requests. Uh, uh, I mentioned it uh, the other night, and uh, was making mention of it. Uh, help me, uh, the fellow that passed away, Wesley. Is that his name? How do you say it, Miss Lena? Wesley is his name. Uh, these folks had a dear friend that he had a. He was riding a horse last week, Sunday or Monday, I guess it was. Fell off the horse and uh, and uh, they tried to help him, lacerated his liver, broke several bones, and uh, he passed away the other day. And so uh, these are dear friends of Miss Lena and Frank and. Uh, uh, these folks here, and we, we just want to pray that the uh, Lord will be with that family today. I tell you, you can. that's why we, we preach about being ready. I mean, what's wrong with riding a horse? You know, just enjoying the day, loving life, and, and the horse fell back on him, fell on him, and, uh, and gone out into eternity just like that. And so I tell you, folks, it just pays to be ready. It yep. sure does pay to be ready. And, and be praying about that. Pray that God will be with that dear wife. And, that trying uh, try, trouble time there, and also Brother Harold Vaughn's son. I mentioned this a little bit. Been praying for him. Had to come back from India. He was a missionary in India. He's got Crohn's disease, and he had to come back home and been in the hospital since he's been back home. And we just need to be praying uh, for folks. There's a lot of folks that got prayer requests and prayer needs and things like that, and we want to be praying for them. So let, let's remember these folks. And many. Many are not here today. Some are traveling and going to see their family, which is wonderful. And uh, let's just pray for one another. Amen. Pray that God will just bless each other as we pray for one another. Got some exciting news. Go ahead and, and pin these down. We'll go ahead and get ahead and just get you, uh, make a calendar note, July the 11th. July 4th is Friday or Saturday this year, but July the 11th will be our church-wide barbecue. This year we're going to have it on the grounds here. We've got many more games uh, that we're going to take place right here. And uh, for those of you who don't know what we've just said, barbecue ribs, barbecue chicken, somebody say amen right there, corn on the cob and all that. And uh, it's a yearly thing we do outdoors. We have a great time in the Lord. 
and we're going to have some horseshoe contests. We've got the Duncan Booth coming this year. There ain't no telling what's going to go on this year, but we're going to have a great time. That's July the 11th, okay? Now, make this note as well. July 31st is a Friday night. I booked the Mountain Boys from the Inspirations, the Singing Inspiration. We're going to have an old-fashioned big gospel singing around here. How many of you know the Inspiration? I know Brother Mike Holcomb, several of them fellows I know real well, and uh, Brother Martin and them, and they're coming from North Carolina, heading to Kentucky. They're coming right through here, and I said, I believe that'll work out on a Friday night, and uh, we might make a hot dog or two for some of you around here, and uh, just have a good gospel singing on a Friday night, and uh, we'll invite the whole community and county and everybody around and so July 31st, so put those dates down. So we're going to have an exciting July, it looks like. It's been already exciting this May, hasn't it? Amen. Homecoming last week, Mother's Day today. We've got a lot of things to rejoice about and praise the Lord about. Uh, ushers, you come this morning, and let's go ahead and receive the offering. And uh, while uh, they're coming, Brother Charles, uh, uh, the financial reports are out there. Is that right? All of the financial reports are out there. Uh, he has uh, uh, several months back there. He's called us up, and I want it to be publicly known to Brother Charles how much I appreciate. I know the kind of work this man has put in, sacrificial time for each and every one of us in this church to get that report and get all of them. They're back there, and you take advantage of them, and, uh, and we printed a bunch of them. You take them home with you and, uh, and uh, use it. And look over it, and uh, we, we appreciate you, Brother Charles. I know I know what he's done. He's done it's a lot of work catching up. Uh, what we When we transfer it over to QuickBooks, it's, uh, it takes a lot of work. And I, I know what he's done, and I appreciate him. I want to tell the church that publicly. And so the reports are back there. Help yourself, okay? All right. Let's thank the Lord for the offering today. Uh, Brother Reagan, God bless you, buddy. Pray for us and thank the good Lord for the offering today. Would you? Yes, we do, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen.
for all your concerns since I've been sick and your prayers and the number of cards and all that I've gotten. But folks, let me ask you, do me a favor. Don't try to call me at home because I ain't going to answer. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just don't feel like talking any more than I have to. <laughs> I'm not going to talk any more than I have to. That's why the answering machine answers my phone in two rings. If I'm laying down, I can't get up and get to the phone. So as nice and kind and courteous as I know to say, please don't call me at home and answer. But I do appreciate all the cards and your prayers and I've had several folks who criticized me because I didn't have this that's in the hospital. But when you don't even feel like talking to the doctor, you don't feel like talking to God. Uh, David drove all the way up from Georgia, and I died very seriously that I talked to him 10 minutes while he was here. Now, he drove eight hours each way, but I just didn't feel like fooling with him. And uh, so, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, folks, but you know, uh, but I do appreciate being in church today. Church has been my life all down through the years, and I wouldn't know what life is without it. I cannot understand how folks can deliberately and intentionally in this church for no reason whatsoever. Right. Now, last Sunday morning, I heard three good sermons watching TV. But folks ain't no whole lot of fellowship with TV. <laughs> you know, but thank you so much and for being here today. Stand with me, would fellowship together, men of the two, and then we'll continue. Amen. God bless you. Amen.
Maybe see it all around. While you're sitting, make sure all the ladies, all the moms, got your names in there in the basket for the drawings here in just a few minutes. We'll take time to honor birthdays here and do anniversaries. And uh, let me read this card before we get started here. Uh, this says to our church family, thank you and bless you for being so special. For all the prayers, food, and cards and calls, love love all of you, Jimmy and Ron Reagan. So we're happy to see Miss, Miss Jimmy back today. She's had a, uh, a surgery, and I know what she's going through. I know what it's like, and so it's good to see her back today. I appreciate, her, appreciate her being here today. Let's take time to honor birthdays. If you have a birthday coming up, or if we missed you last week, want to sing to you today, any birthdays. Miss Francis got a birthday coming up. We won't let you make a stand, Miss Francis. Any, is it today? Well, happy birthday. Anybody else? Miss Carol's got a birthday? Did we sing to you last Sunday? Well, stand up. We'll sing to you this Sunday. You thought you thought you could sneak away. Huh? I'll see how that is. Anybody else? Anybody else? We'll sing happy birthday. Miss anybody? You can call them out. All right, let's sing to these two this morning. Sing it with me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. All right, we're doing anniversaries now. Any anniversaries coming up? And all, Brother Carter, Mr. Rita. Brother David's got to come. He's going to come and say something. We've got a special uh, presentation. Amen. Yes, we do. We'll just have a, a card and a gift for Pastor Sloan. So we appreciate their faithfulness and uh, tell them a uh, happy anniversary. Amen. I, I know he doesn't feel well, but he's here and he's, he's faithful and uh, he's a good example to all of us. So that's all. Amen. I'm not going to lead the singing. So you are saying. All right, let's sing happy anniversary, Brother Carter. How many years, Mr. Rita? How many years? 51. Wonderful. Let's sing happy anniversary. All right, sing with me. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, God bless you. Happy anniversary to you. Amen. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do this mother thing at this time. Get my wife to help me, brother Ray. You bring those up here. While he's coming right quick, somebody, we're going to do this in a few minutes. Somebody stand up and say something. Praise for your mother. Maybe you got a mother in heaven. You like to testify about your mother. Amen. Somebody stand up right quick. Say something about your mother. We're going to do this a little bit. All right. Go ahead, Brother Larry. And then we got one right behind you, right quick. All right. I love my mother. She's been an example to me my whole life. Amen. Go ahead, Miss Jimmy. My mother is deceased. Yes, ma'am. Amen. That's really good. Amen. She did a good job on you as well. Yes, ma'am. My mother didn't have to She was a wonderful mother. Amen. Praise God. That means a lot to you. And that is what we thank the Lord for. Yes, sir, my friend. Go ahead. I know my mother's with God. She was the best mother in the world. Yep. And I'm not saying anything about good mothers. <laughs> That's great. Quite a while. Hey. Always there when I needed someone. Took care of me. What a blessing. Hey, man. We're grateful that you're here. Go ahead, real quickly. Yes, ma'am. My mother's still living. She's a floral designer and she's working today for other mothers. Right. Well, bless your heart. Glad to have you. And Greg's at the home sick. These allergies and different things. Tommy's sick and can't talk, breathe, or anything. Yes, ma'am. Go right ahead. Hey, man. What a blessing. Amen. Hey. Boy, she's a Carolina girl right there. You can tell the way she talks. she got Tar Heel in her. Amen. <laughs> tar Heel. Talk like the heavenly language like I talk about. Hey. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> who else? Real quick. Real quick. I mean, this is wonderful. Amen. Go ahead, Miss Kate. My mother's in heaven, but she was my best friend. Yeah. Someone there to talk to on Wednesday. I always gave the best answers. Amen. Amen. 
educated man. If you have a mother that's living, shame be to you if you don't tell your mother you love her today. Amen. 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 And I'll tell you, I don't care if she's in Kansas or on the other side of the world. Get word to her that you love her today. Yes, ma'am, Miss Marie. Praise God. Amen. 94, am I saying that correctly? Not, huh? 94, Miss Geneva. Praise Amen. God. Amen. That's a blessing, isn't it? All right. Well, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Yes, my mother's here. She, and I love her. And we she's praise been God. a good mother to me. Amen. Amen. That's what it's all about. All right. We're going to do this. So, Miss McNeil, what are you doing now? You go ahead what and help me What we've done, we've got three gift certificates. We're going to be just drawing names. And we've got a Bath and Body gift certificate. We've got a, a Belt gift certificate and a Cracker Barrel gift certificate. Well, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I like Cracker Barrel because they have all that cool country stuff, yeah. too. So it's yeah, not that yeah. so you can go eat. It's so you can go buy some stuff, you know. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to go. My name's not in here, so I'm not worried about it. But I'm going to go ahead and draw, okay? And my husband's going to come and read them off. All right? So I'm not looking. Anyway. <laughs> and the first lucky winner is... Elvira. No, that's not her. <laughs> Rhonda Worley. Worley. Oh, Rhonda. This is for the belt gift certificate. I want to be. Miss Kay Miller. Kay Yay. Miller. Way to go, Miss Kay. <laughs> hey, man, this is a Cracker Barrel Bunch. I want to get close to this All person. All right, man. I want to fellowship with this person right here. <laughs> right here. Who's that say? Pam Connor. Am I saying that right? Pam. 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 Out of it. I want to find out the oldest mother in here. That's special to me. Amen. Amen. And we say it with all the honor and all the humility there is. If you're older than 94 years of age, stand to your feet. Amen. <laughs> is anybody older? Miss Geneva, stand up there real quick. Well, Miss Geneva, let's give her a big hand. Right here. What a blessing. God bless you, Miss Geneva. We love you. want to let you know she's the oldest mother. Thank you so much. I passed in the mountain the other day and she's walking to the mailbox up there. Ain't that a blessing? And I praise God for that. And so uh, uh, we, we want to uh, they're going to come sing us a song. He, who else got us? Who else will say something about your mother? This, this is good. Anybody else want to testify? Anybody? Come on. This was real good. They're getting ready to sing. Give us a few more testimonies. Go ahead there, brother. Amen. Ain't that a blessing? Mother-in-law as well. Amen. I've got one of them, a mother-in-law as well. Amen. Yes, ma'am, Miss Donna. Amen and amen. My mother's mother, my mamma, was a godly lady. She loved Jesus. Brother Carter and I were talking about the mothers up here on the stage a minute ago. I tell you, I, they, well, they want no more greater mammal than my mammal, but uh, you know how that works. But she will love Jesus. I'm going to tell you that. She is faithful through thick and thin. She's with the Lord, been gone with cancer for many years, but she's not hurting today. Amen. Amen. And I praise God for that. Well, we had a little bit of family time yesterday, had a wonderful time. And uh, if you ain't a party around the McNeil family, this is what you're going to become right here. Amen. You're going to be singers. Amen. Singers. When I say singers, I mean singers. Amen. We don't sing, we sing. Amen. And they're going to sing it a little bit for us. All right. Gracie, you going to sing something too? All right. We got around the piano about 10 o'clock last night. And we just had family time and had a good time. And we just want to share a little bit of family time with you from last night. For making the sun to 
sunshine, putting the stars in the sky for the flowers that bloom. The ocean so blue. Thank you, Lord, for the sparrow that sings and makes sweet melody for the rivers that flow. The rain and the snow.
the boots on it anywhere. Amen. We can have church or we can just whatever y'all want to do. Amen. Are you glad you're saved today? Say amen. Are you glad that you're on your way to heaven like Brother Carter said? Amen. Are you glad you got your family going to heaven with you? Amen. Praise God. Ain't nothing better than that right there. Amen. Nothing better than having your children and your grandchildren and all your family together. Husbands and wives and children and grandchildren on your way to heaven. Amen. Praise God. Sing something. Church, whether y'all have some or not. Amen. We're just going to enjoy Jesus a while. Amen. I got up this morning and I started my day. God's mercy was with me all of the way. His goodness stayed close by to feed on my needs. My Lord is taking good care of me. I'm never forsaken. I'm never Just want to just preach to you a little bit. I'm really concerned 
we have a lot of mothers here. We have a lot of young mothers. We've had a we've had quite a bit of young babies. Young babies have been born in this church, and I praise God for that. Uh, Miss Miss Linda back there got the little Miss Andrea's little Bubba, and uh, and Frank Bubba, and uh, what was that that church said? Said this is what handsome looks like. He's got a little shirt. Said this is what handsome looks like. Amen. And praise God. When my baby with Miss Andrew and our grandbabies were, were, were born, I was taking pictures of it. I, I told several preachers across the country, I said, when you see the picture of my grandbaby, you'll throw your pictures away. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> but we all are proud grandparents. Amen. And that's the way it ought to be. And we ought to love them. There's been a lot of kids, a lot of babies, and a lot of young ones. Some of them are out today. and They're gone with their families. That's all right. But... Uh, I want to look at Hosea chapter 2. Let's get a hold of the Word of God real quickly. And uh, chapter number 2, verse number 2. Uh, there's two sides to the book of Hosea. There's probably many sides, but there's two sides that look. There's one side where uh, the Hosea side, which Hosea is a type uh, of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. It shows compassion. It shows tenderness. It shows mercy. And then there's the other side, uh, the sinful side of a mother here as we're talking about Mother's Day. Here's a mother now, like Israel, God is picturing Hosea's family, family and he's showing a portrait of the nation of Israel. And what happened here was Hosea's wife, at first, we believe, and the writers believe, even with their first child here, the, the child was born to Hosea, but then she walked off. I want to say it like that. She just walked off. She went out into sin. She left, went out in the street. Though we would call it a prostitute today. She left her home. She left her family. She left her children. Are y'all listening to me this morning? Boy, I tell you right now, our society and our nation is filled with families that are broken up and tore up and broke down and, uh, and torn apart. Poor little mothers and little children today don't know have a mama or a daddy. And they see mama and daddy fussing and fuming and fighting all the time. And children and babies have to grow up with that. They don't have to be that way if you've got Christ in the home. Amen. Amen. And I just want to preach that a little bit. Let's read chapter 2, verse number 2 real quickly and just get a few words here this morning from the Word of God. Verse 2, chapter 2. Y'all with me? Say amen. amen. It says, plead with your mother. You see that? Plead. Plead with your mother. Plead. For she is not my wife, Hosea said, neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts. Lest I strip her naked and set her as in the day that she was born and make her as a wilderness and set her like a dry land and slay her with thirst. I will not have mercy upon her children for they be the children of whoredoms. For their mother hath played the harlot. She hath conceived them that hath done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers and give me my bread, that give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, mine oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up the way. Look here. I will hedge up the way with thorns and make a wall that she shall not find her path. In other words, he's saying to her, I'm going to hedge it up where she can't get out there. I'm going to love on her. I'm going to help her. I'm going to get back to her there. And then verse 7 says, Then, and she shall follow after her lovers, and she shall not overtake them, and she shall seek them, but shall not find them. Then shall she say, I will go out and go, I will go and return to my first husband. For then was it better with me than now. Notice that last phrase again in verse number seven. I will go and return to my first husband, for then was it better with me than now. She was married to Hosea. And she walked off and she went out, as it says here, and she went out to other lovers. She started loving other things, other things besides her husband there. And she came to herself. Does that not sound like another person over in Luke chapter 15, the Bible says, that was feeding after the swine? We call him the prodigal son. Amen. The Bible says he came to himself and he said, I will rise and go back home and I'll go back to my father for he has hired servants there that are feeding better than I am. 
And so I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the title of the message. If we, if we see a lady here that says, I will go and return to my first husband, for then was it better with me than now? She realizes, hey, when she came to herself, that she had it better back at home, which was a home life. Can I get an amen right there? Right, amen. With a husband and a wife. Can I get an amen there? And a husband and wife and children that made up a family. And there ain't nothing greater on the face of an earth, on this earth, than a husband and a wife and dear children. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm calling this message today not only the prodigal son, but I'm calling it the prodigal mother or the prodigal wife, if you will. Let's pray. Father, thank you for everything we've heard. Thank you for the praises of God. Thank you, Lord, for my mother here today. Thank you for these mothers here today. Bless their day. Give them a good day. I pray your will will be done in a mighty way. Speak to hearts now in these few minutes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I'm going to preach fast so you listen fast. The word Hosea means deliverer. It means salvation. When God put names and when he named them himself in the word of God, they are very significant in the word of God. The word Hosea means deliverer or salvation. It's a picture, like we said already, of the Lord Jesus Christ here. And we see here that Hosea is a picture, and Hosea name fits the, his task very well as he was a, the last prophet to minister to Israel before she fell. And what we see here is uh, we see a family, and we see a family put together today, and we see a family that was once together that's not together and now got back together, amen? And sin is what got them to walk off, and sin is what got the mother to go astray. And in chapter 2, Hosea says, plead with your mother, plead with her to come back, plead with her. They had three children. And the Lord starts out by saying in these three children here uh, that, you know, that he, uh, the first one we see, and I, I got to be careful with all this time because I don't have time. The first one here, uh, we, we see how they, uh, it, it's a process. Uh, by the time we get to the third child, the Lord is teaching us uh, the last child is Loru, uh, uh, Loami there, and they, the Loru Hama. I can't say all these names of these children there. But what God is teaching uh, through the children, He's teaching Israel here. I started out loving you, and then that, and now, and, and the word lo ruhama means not or uh, have no compassion. What happened uh, to Israel is God was saying, I started out loving you, I still loved you, and I still care for you. Just like Hosea and his wife's name was Gomer. Can you imagine that? Amen. I ain't heard of any women named Gomer. Anybody named Gomer here this morning? But anyway, I, I mean, you know, that's pretty rough. Amen. I mean, it, what, what God is showing us here is the process of how God started out loving them. And by the time we get to the third child, the third child's name means a low end. Uh, look at verse number 8 and 9 in chapter number 1. Uh, it, it, chapter 1 says, verse 8, Now when she had weaned the uh, low Ruhama, she conceived and bare a son. Then said God, uh, God, call his name lo Ami, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. You see that? By the time they get to the third child, God says, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be your God. I am, he said, I am not your I am. That's what exactly what that means right there. The I am is saying, I'm not the I am to you anymore. You've turned your back on me. You've, uh, you've gone out to uh, sensual lovers there. You've turned your back on God. And may I say to you today, that's what happens when we drift away from God. Amen. And when you get away from God, you drift away from the Lord. And that was kind of my message here today as we would look at this mother here. And as she goes away, she, she goes away and, and she gets out of, uh, from her family and gets out from her husband there. I, I, want, I just want to uh, just tell you real quickly here, whether you know it or not or whether you realize it or not, your marriage and your family, your life, and your children send a message to everybody that's watching you. Right. Amen. Amen. I, I, I'll tell you, that a family that does not honor God shows the consequences of so doing. Right. 
I mean, when you don't honor God, the trauma, the turmoil, the tension, all the tribulation and the trouble, I mean, that sprouts from this kind of family sends a message of warning. I mean, people are looking at you like, here's what happens when you don't honor the Lord. How many families have I seen that do not go to church, do not care about God, do not care about their children going to church? I was going, I got up real early this morning, went down to Aronto, picked up my mother, met my sister halfway and, and, and I seen people uh, this morning going about their business real early. I, I went down to Hardy's of course and got me a sausage biscuit. Can I get an amen right there? Hallelujah. 7.30 this morning. Put jelly on top of it. Amen. Amen. And I just saw people all over the parking lot, motorcycles going everywhere, everybody having fun, everybody going their way, everybody doing their thing. But nobody has a conscience about the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Praise God. I just said a little quiet prayer under my breath. I said, Lord, thank you for that my mom and daddy raised me in church. I'm thankful today that I'm headed to the house of God. I want to say praise God. I'm glad I know Jesus, amen. And I've got my Bible in my hand. And like Brother Carter said, I'm on my way out of here. And one of these days, God, who has been so good to me, is going to carry me home, amen. amen. Glad I'm in church. Amen. Your family is sending a message. Amen. amen. Let me ask you a question today. What is that message today? What message is your family sending today? I wonder. I mean, what's the message? Do you love the Lord? Amen. Do you go to church uh, when the doors are open? Uh, did you bring your tithes to the Lord today? They don't belong to this church. They belong to the Lord. Did you know that today? Did you bring your tithes to the Lord? Uh, I mean, did you, I mean, do you do you love your wife? Do your husband? Do you love your children? Do you love your parents? Uh, what's the message of your family? Praise God. They did a study of 500 family counselors. Uh, they did a study in the following of the top traits of a successful family. 500 counselors said, and took us, did a study. Here's the, five, here's the following traits of a successful family. Number one, a successful family is one that communicates and listens to one another. Amen. Amen. How about affirming and supporting family members? Affirming and supporting each other. How about respecting one another? You'd be surprised even in families don't even respect each other. In, the family, in, in your family. Are y'all with me? Right. Well, amen. How about developing a sense of trust? How about sharing time? Sharing time and responsibility. How about knowing right from wrong? Amen. This is successful families. Knowing right from wrong. You get that right and wrong, by the way, by, from the Word of God. Amen. Right. Amen. How about having rituals or traditions? Well, praise God. We started one this weekend. Amen. Uh, last night we had a big old bonfire. Amen. Had all them youngins out there. We had them marshmallows.